so without wasting any more time uh, we will be starting off with the class itself we won't be wasting any more time okay people who are joining us uh, they will be joining us with time otherwise they can uh, watch the video at a later point of time as well so let's get started guys and uh, yesterday we had finished up up till here we'll be starting to write our code after this itself guys okay I'll be starting with the CSS code. Some hundred lines of code are left almost. So we'll be finishing it off today. And that would be our uh, project that we have completed. Like I said, I am not able to see the live chat right now. So after some time, I'll just open it up and check what is the case. Okay. Have you guys started with writing the uh, code, guys? Please let me know. Have you guys started writing the code, guys? Please let me know. Have you guys started writing the code guys please let me know yesterday we had finished up almost 75 percent of the entire project okay so please i'm assuming that you have started writing the code as well Do not waste any more time because uh, you will be given three four days to complete the project but that is more than sufficient okay so please try to make sure that you are starting with writing the code from today itself line height let's keep it up as 56 pixels put it up as important next we have to min height as well keep it up as 56 pixels to fix it up and we'll also make this important dot search we'll do our a b b our wrapper margin keep it up as 10 pixel auto 0 170 pixels uh, width calc 800% minus 450 pixels max width will calculate it as 650 pixels height put it up as 46 pixels and position we'll put it up as fixed dot search wrapper i color we'll put it up as as seven five seven five seven five and we'll have position as absolute next we'll be having the font size we'll put the font size is 24 pixels top will have it as five pixels and left will have it as say 24 pixels and line height will have it as 38 pixels important input Dive yeah, I'll see it's search not dot BROW browser default display lock padding will have it as 11 pixel 8 pixel 11 pixel and 72 pixels width will have it as 100%
background will have it as hash f5 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 and right will have it as 24 pixels have the border as none will have the font size as 16 pixels we'll have the outline as none we'll have the border radius as 2 pixels color have it as uh, hash 75 75 Five key input type is equals to the person search but as focus or bottom run. And have the pop shadow none that is important for type search placeholder as color Seven five seven five seven five. Save this page. So as you're able to see, it is looking a lot like uh, Google Drive itself. Like slowly and steadily, we are able to see that the main nav bar is looking a bit like Google Drive. Um, once we have put in some more uh, ideologies right over there, it will start looking a lot more like that. I think so it will require some more editing as well, but we'll look into it. How to make sure that that is happening. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Okay, so we'll have sidebar, side nav. So how many of you have watched uh, your uh, arrow like as the tv series arrow uh it's nice i was just watching it i've i've watched it almost thrice right now so but it's great floating edh width Keep it as to 50 pixels. We have padding as 12 pixels, 8 pixels, 0. Let's put this up as important as well. The height next. Height will put up the calc 100% minus 130 pixels. left initial uh, right initial top will put it up as 125 pixels transform will put it up as initial z index will put it up as auto margin will put it up as let's say 0 0.5 rem 0 1 rem and 0 once again border radius we'll put it up as 2 pixels we'll have the background as transparent 
and we'll have the box shadow as none. I nav dot divider margin will keep it as eight pixel and zero dot side nav dot active. Put the background color as RGBA zero 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 point five. Oh, third side nav dot active A. E. You will have it as color ash twenty one twenty one twenty one. Let's put up some font weight as well for this. And weight will put it up as five hundred, I think. So that should do it. Dot side nav dot sub header. We will put it up as line height 24 pixels. Have the height as 32 pixels. We'll have the margin as 0. We have the padding as 4 and 16. We have the color as hash 61 61 61 want to wait normal font size will have it as 13 pixels dot side nav i if dot right math and I a I media 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 real material I see you in this icons M T E R I L material icons. We will have it as height as 40 pixels and we'll have the line height as 40 pixels as well. To do the trick on the dot side nav L I. This is not available right now. I'll take up the A for right now. Padding. And let's keep the padding as 0 and 16 pixels. We'll have the font weight as normal. We'll have the font size as 13. 13 pixels. We'll have the color as hash 61, 61, 61. Side nav i 
Pixels. So that should do the trick. Let's move on to the folders. What old DTH width will keep it up as one eighty five. Pixels. Let's go back to website, reload the page. Are able to get something, some things are still messed up. We need to identify what is the issue right over there. Once we have completed, we'll try to find the bugs that are there in the entire thing in line block. Okay, margin we need to fix it up as 15, 20, 15, 15 pixels, 20 pixels, 15 pixels, and 0. <clears throat> Won't wait. Keep up as again 500. Dot folder. I. Color. RGBA yeah, margin top will keep it up as minus three pixels. Save this, go back to our website, reload the page. Okay. There's some issues right over here with the left hand side and the right hand side. We need to get them rectified. So what to do in this particular case? <clears throat> so the only issue that I'm able to see is right over here. Let me see if this bug turns out to be fine or just a hoax. I see that. I think so. The bug should be solved here. Let us see if by changing this dot side nav li s drive reload the shit got sold no I didn't okay it means there's some issue that I'm not able to see right now. Let me try something different then. Okay, so I'm switching it on. Got it back to the original default itself. Let's see if this works. back to the website and reload the page some of it has been solved some of it is still shitty okay so this is i don't know why this is still appearing right over here it should have appeared here hmm. this is all fine we need to identify what is the problem going on right over here let me try to solve this out as well then the mistake that we are having let us try to solve this up as well so this needs to have its very own thing let me copy paste this control c control v this up right over here and put this back into its original transformation itself so changing this up a bit would should work we'll have a line height margin right as 24 pixels s check dot side nav lia 
Let's go back to our website, reload the page. This works somehow, but still there is some kind of issue that I'm able to see with the side nav that isn't quite making sense. Like the fuck is this coming from? Li class active for na side nav active side nav active side nav active here yeah, there's some kind of issue going on side nav active it should be 0 0.05 here and control s back reload the page it is coming but it is going somewhere to the top okay Why is it going to the top? It's a bit should have come right here. Dashboard is going inside our navbar. Navbar fixed. It is having some kind of problem. Okay, so the navbar fixed. Floating transparent. So it is having some kind of problem. Let us check that. Floating. So the width is perfect. Padding is good. Calculations is also great. Top is proper. Auto is good. Moving the rim as proper as well. Two pixels transfer none. Fuck is it not working? Hmm. Okay, we'll have to go into the debugging mode once again. Let's check this up then. Let's go back. Let us change the side nav to eighty five. Control S back, reload the page. Well, something is off about it, but why is it? Why are both of them not aligned to each other? Okay, now what is the problem here? Check. Class active fixed. A and I, I need to check for that class active A and I. Snide active A. Is he active? Subheader, where the fuck was the subheader? There's no subheader. Why is subheader coming right over here? I think so, there's some issue. To find this, it 
guess I hit her is that one. So what about the eye? Sixteen, thirteen, the four, forty, thirteen, four, sixteen, thirty two, so the L I A I need. Okay, so this is the approximate what I was able to make. You can add more folders to this as well. So if I'm trying to go into the index.html, if I want to create more folders, I can just control C, control V, control S, go back to the website, reload the page. I should be able to get multiple folders right over here. Okay, so a basic layout of the Google Drive has been created right over here. And this is the project that you guys will be working upon as well will have to create the exact same thing the number of folders that you want to place is totally up to you that isn't something that we are going to check uh the rest of the stuff whatever code that we have written up till now that is something that will be checked by us okay so this is the basic google drive clone that i've created using material css materialized css and html right over here as you are able to see all the uh changes that we wanted to do i've already changed that i'll be scrolling through the entire html and css in a minute give me a second so as you're able to see right over here i'll just scroll through the entire thing uh, I hope that the um, size of the characters is uh, okay with you guys. You guys let me know. Any guys let me know guys. Okay. Is the size of the characters more than sufficient? okay so i'll scroll through the entire thing once for you guys okay so this is the html portion of it i'm slowly and steadily uh, scrolling through the entire thing so that at a later point of time if you want to pause and look at it as well you can do that okay After this, I'll be telling you guys how to submit the project as well. Don't worry about it. Okay, so that was the HTML portion. Let me scroll through the CSS portion as well. use the exact same numbers guys otherwise uh, it won't work properly okay so whatever numbers that i have used uh, there were some miscalculations that i had done so i had to uh, change it once again but uh, once it has been changed i think so this should work properly like what i have created uh, let me scroll through the entire thing once for you guys okay so this was the entire css code as well okay are you guys able to understand this please do let me know guys are you guys able to understand this please do let me know guys yeah this video will be able uh, you will be able to get this video for the rest of your life itself you don't have to worry about it okay the next thing that i will be telling you guys is how to submit the project okay so 
what we are going to do right now is the project submission link now inside the project submission form there will be a form like this let me show you one of the example form give me a second let me open up an example form for you guys okay let, let me open up the other one okay this was the project submission form for the instagram clone as you are able to see uh you have to use the exact same email id that you have used in your attendance form once you have done that then you have to use your full name okay whatever name you want on the certificate please do not put your father's name your mother's name your sister's name your great grandfather's name your entire family to be on the full name just your first name and your last name if your first name is and your last name is very long then use your initials only okay because a certificate isn't that long it can we cannot include the entire name on the certificate so think very logically while writing your name right over here the email use the exact same email that you have used in the attendance form do not use any other email guys uh put your phone number your whatsapp number all these things the sandbox link so for example this is the sandbox that i have created right over here so you have to click on this particular share button it will generate a uh, like a link for you guys copy that link okay and uh, put that link as editable and copy that link paste that link right over here inside the google form you can also upload your project so you can whatever project that you have made a picture of it or a video of the code and the project that you have made you can upload it on linkedin if you are doing that uh, please provide us with the linkedin post link as well as you're able to see the linkedin post link is not compulsory but we still suggest you guys to do that that is something that is our suggestion uh, otherwise it's up to you itself okay so today as we are ending up the boot camp you will have uh, at least four days to complete the project so so five days should be more than sufficient for you guys to go through the entire project make the entire project and learn as well okay in the meanwhile are you guys able to understand this please le do let me know the project submission form will be circulated to, to you guys on description of the video with the project submission form as well so you will if you are not able to get it on whatsapp or telegram channel you will be able to get in the description of the video so i'm currently creating that as well so that you guys don't have any problems if you guys have any doubts or any queries at any point of time you can use the discord channel that we have created to ask those doubts and uh, somebody from the team or the the mentors themselves will be able to help you guys out with the same as well so you don't have to worry about it and i will update it into the description of the video as well project submission form will we save so if you guys will uh, if you guys will reload this particular website itself this particular page you will be able to see that in the description of the video itself there will be the project submission link as well okay so i think so that should be more than sufficient for you guys okay so now now that has been done all the information has been passed on to you guys uh, so how do you know what properties are to be applied since it is difficult to keep all the properties in mind while coding so aditi before coming to the bootcamp itself i created the entire website on my own taking up all my time okay and then in the class i take reference to the website to create it and whenever i'm stuck somewhere i take reference to that once again so it's not as if i'm live uh, making it live right now because it took me almost like if you are making a website like this it will take you a week and every day you have to devote at least two to three hours to create such type of clone only then you will be able to create it on your own itself that is the kind of time i had to devote to create this project okay now in that what happens is uh, nobody can determine that okay this is the exact particular dimensions that i should be using so it's by trial and testing itself so usually by trial and testing or because i had a ui ux developer who was there with me i asked him to first develop the ui of the entire website and give it to me and then i will create it so in that way most of the uh, measurements i was able to get it directly from there okay so that is how these projects are created okay yeah you have to use your own profile picture okay don't worry about it okay copy karne ko teaching kehta hai cheater is not a teacher uh agar pehle se bana rakhi thi abhi time samjhane mein lagata na gadha 
okay uh great comment uh so basically what happens is that first of all yes it took me almost uh seven days and three hours every single day that is 21 hours of time to create this project for you guys okay so it takes a lot of time from my behalf as well i'm currently working as a software engineer somewhere and this is something that i do on my free time so no issues i love teaching that is the reason why i invest my time right over here as well secondly uh if I am teaching you everything, like from the entire project perspective, if I'm telling you every single line of code, what it does, then what are you learning? Okay, you're not learning anything. This is not a physics class or a chemistry class. This is a development class. I've been a developer for the past six years and you are a, whatever your name is, because your name is hidden. So you are a tiny piece of shit before me. Okay, that particular person, whoever had uh, commented that. So my understanding about teaching. So I've been teaching for Google for the past two years. Google deploys me to various different universities to teach on their behalf. So for me, teaching development is something that has become a habit. Now development isn't something that I can take a pen and put it in your hand and then put my hand over it and then make you make sure that you are able to write. It's about giving you a project, making sure that, okay, this project works. Okay. I've coded it live in front of you. There is no issues with the project itself. The basic knowledge I've already given you to understand the thing. The next thing that you have to do is you have to make sure that whatever things that you are not able to understand, find it out, read the documentation, explore only then you will be able to gain knowledge. Otherwise, I'm, I'm not here to make robots. I'm here to make developers. Developers need to have knowledge itself, not just like you should not be Chatur. Okay. From three idiots. Okay. Chatur Ramalingam. I'm not here to make Chatur Ramalingams. You have to explore a bit. That is the only way that you will be able to, uh, create like developers at the end of the day. Okay. Okay. No issues in that guys. Uh, so thank you so much for your time and uh, we'll meet in any of the future boot camps or something like that. Okay. So thank you so much guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.